welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Bree. Uh, we are doing a whip and chat today. Whip is uh, whip and chat stands for a work in progress and we are doing a diamond painting. Um, this is lighthouse and boat. I know this is completely different than what we did last week. Um, here is the image. It is um, by Image World, Diamond Shape Square. It is 91 centimeters by 65 centimeters. Um, I saw this release two weeks ago now at the time of filming this, and I had to get it. And well, first I was just like, hmm, that's pretty. And then I asked my wife because she's been wanting something with a lighthouse in remembrance of her grandmother and so I sent it to her and she's like yeah I like that and so I was just like okay add to cart um because I really wanted another diamond painting and I don't buy just one <laughs> can't have just one anyway so I got this one and when I opened it I was just floored at how beautiful it was and I wanted to start it right away I don't know what it was it it just wasn't until I saw it in person that I had to start it right away so I have this little section right here I have made a lot of progress on this I only started I kitted it up on um, October 20th Thursday today of the filming is the 25th and I've made I'm not gonna take my camera off so you can see how much but you will see soon how <laughs> much progress because I update it on my Instagram so if you are on Instagram and you don't follow me there um, I'll leave the link in the description you can go check it out it's the same as my YouTube name painting with pities and you can see how much progress I've made I will update it here soon um, when I'm done for today so by the time this video goes up It'll be updated okay so we are going to talk about a few different things today I actually have some things to talk about first um, happy mail um, I'm gonna insert the clip here somewhere <laughs> Okay, I pulled up the comment. Um, Jennifer says, Hi Brie, I do enjoy the time-lapse videos, but understand how the time investment may not be worth it at this point. I watch all of your videos, but enjoy the whip and chats because it's like talking with a friend while I work, even if it is one-sided, lol. Um, I totally understand what she means by that because when I watch other um, creators' videos, I do the same thing when I'm working on a diamond painting and I just listen to them. Um, some other creators, I'll list them out down in the description. I just, you get to know people through their videos and it's kind of like you have these friends and you build these relationships and that's why I really like when you guys comment down below and I reply to them because I really like building that relationship and you know this community with you all um so I, I know exactly what you mean Jennifer um uh she said she also says I do not have any pets right now but I'm looking forward to seeing the vet question video um I think what you do is so interesting and such a different perspective in the diamond painting community well, thank you so much. Um, the vet question video, it is going to, what color am I working on? So I can just start working on it. Um, the, I think I'm too close. Hold on. There we go. We'll talk about the items I'm, I'm using shortly um the vet question video that she mentions if you didn't 
Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Um, first, congratulations, Jennifer. I will be sending out your happy mail. Um, I did send you an email um, just to let you know that to be on the lookout, I'm sending you some happy mail. Um, I did update the happy mail uh, Google form everyone that has signed up so far to add a question because each Happy Mail is going to have um, scented putty in it and right now um, I have three scents that are made. I will be adding some more later but right now I have three and um, if you want a certain scent, uh, you can just pick one. Otherwise, it will be a total surprise. Um, there's three right now. So there's the Fruity Loops, which smells exactly like the cereal. <clears throat> this one. And I'm not kidding, it, it does smell exactly like the cereal. It smells so good. Do not eat it, it is not edible. And then I have um, hot maple syrup. It smells like breakfast. And then the other one, which I don't have available next to me right now, is a hot buttery popcorn. Um, it's called movie night. I have that one available as well. Or I have the option where you just say, surprise me, and I will send you a random scent. So if you don't mind, if you've already put in your address um, and your name and everything, going back to the Google form and um, like edit, if you're able to edit or add that if you want, um, I think you can edit your answers. I'm not sure. Um, we'll figure it out no prob no problem and if you can't edit it and you are picked for next week then just let me know in the in the email if you want a certain scent so yeah uh, Jennifer just uh, replied to my email if you haven't already uh, what's what of those three cents you would like me to send to you? Okay, I think I'm done with this color. Yes Okay, so as far as the items that I'm using in today's whip and chat, they are not Really any different than any other whip and chat I am using my butterfly effect wears um, diamond painting pen with a metal single placer and a metal four placer. I also have another butterfly effect wears pen with a six metal placer. Um, I have a Bella Art Day Nicole tray. I have a white one and the purple, like the black, purple to black color, the little funnel. I have a trash minder here, a pair of tweezers, and that's it. <laughs> my diamond painting. Um, yeah, so those are my supplies. And then, okay, so what else Jennifer mentioned in her comment was that she was looking forward to the vet question video. Um, that is gonna be in a couple of weeks. Um, but I wanted to kind of put it out there for everybody because, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. I had to take a drink, um, get the next color here. It's like, I have to think about the color symbol. Can't talk while do that. Um, so that that question video is I'm having a co-worker, <clears throat> a veterinarian friend of mine. We're going to 
Um, I'm going to show her. She's never diamond painted before. Um, and we are, I'm going to show her how to diamond paint. And we are going to do um, some breed specific diamond paintings of dogs and cats. And we're going to answer some questions like that you may have about um, dogs and cats. Whether they're breed specific or just about, you know, whatever questions that you may have. So if you have questions um, about dogs or cats or something that you want answered um, that you, you've you wanted to ask but never asked or just you've been wanting to ask, um, leave your questions in a comment down below. I will... Um, I will make note of it and we will, we will answer them in that video. If you don't want to, um, leave your question in a comment in the comment section, um, and you want to email me, that is fine too. My email address is paintingwithpities at gmail.com. Um, it's also located in the description of this video. It's in, always in any of my videos. Or you can even contact me on Instagram. Um, you can say something to me on there. Um, anywhere you want. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we will just answer, like, we'll just, like, talk about different breeds um, and stuff like that. Um, are you looking into getting a new pet or, you know, whatever. No question is silly or stupid or anything like that. We welcome all questions. Um, do you have questions about, like, emergency medicine? Like, what is it like or um, anything like that? We, we work in emergency medicine emergency veterinary medicine, I should say. Um, so if you have, yeah, any questions that you would like to ask, we are open. Um, she is a veterinarian that's also on Instagram and she's very um, open to education. She likes teaching people um, about different things as well so um i don't want to give out her instagram name just yet but yeah so we love talking about veterinary medicine. I love talking about veterinary medicine. I'm very comfortable talking about it. Um, it's other stuff well, like that I get that I'm not comfortable talking about, which is very weird. Like it's your normal, um, your normal everyday things where I start having like social anxiety. <laughs> Um, so it's, so it's weird, it's weird to me to like, and that's, that's one of the reasons why I started my channel is because I, I really wanted to start getting more comfortable, like talking to people about like normal, <laughs> I want to say normal and quotations, like normal daily things, um, not just um, emergency veterinary medicine and you you should know like when I say emergency veterinary medicine this is like it's a lot of sad stuff so and it's sad to be so comfortable talking about stuff like that um, and I do want to bring, like, some education to the public about that. Um, you know, like, 
there's this thing called uh, compassion fatigue. That weird noise in the background is Ernie. He's dreaming. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, so that was another thing I just wanted to, I wanted to get more comfortable talking about other things other than sad stuff all the time. And um, like even right now, trying to explain like why I started my channel and everything it's like making my hands start to sweat <laughs> like that's how how much anxiety I have about about it but my YouTube channel is growing and it has been very helpful um, my voice doesn't shake as much I know like when I first started it it shaked it was very shaky, but it's gotten a lot better. But I want to know what questions you have. Um, please leave them down below. Email me. Um, yeah, I'm compiling all these all these questions. Um, I've gotten a few questions so far, and they're really good. So I'm I'm glad. Okay, so. Happy mail winner, not winner, but <laughs> recipient. <laughs> it's hard to not say winner because it's, I don't know. We know, we know what it is. So if you will want a chance to receive happy mail next week, what you need to do is fill out the Google form if you haven't already and um, leave a comment down below and like this video, okay? <laughs> um, when you like my video, it does help it reach more people out in the YouTube world, you know, algorithms and such. Um, okay, so the next thing that I have on my little list, I've started making, making lists of like what I want to talk about so I don't forget, and it's been very helpful. <clears throat> um... So Taylor Swift, <laughs> Taylor Swift came out with a new album last week and oh my gosh, there's a song on there called Antihero and I can't be the only person that is like, is this song about me? Is this song written for me? This song is, this can't be about me, is it? Is it? Oh my gosh. It's so good. This album is a little dark though. <laughs> and I just cannot stop listening to it. Um, if you are a Taylor Swift fan and you've been listening to it, Oh, it's good. Even if you aren't a fan, you should listen. Just, just give it a little listen. It's good. It's a good one. So that's all I'm going to say, I guess, about that. But that song, I'm just like, is this about me? Have you ever felt that way about a song where you just like listen to the lyrics and you're like, oh my God, this, if I was a songwriter, I could have written this. <laughs> this is about me, isn't it? I feel this. I feel it in my bones. It's really good. Um, another song on that album that I really like also is, um, I think it's called Bejeweled. That one, it's really catchy. I like that one a lot too. I 
can't remember all the names of them. All right, and then what else as far as entertainment? Okay, oh, um, I started watching The Crown on Netflix, and I'm only, I think I'm three, maybe four episodes in. Four episodes would be a stretch, but it's good. I don't know why I waited so long. I don't know how many seasons there are, maybe like five or six, but I did not realize that it's been on that long. Oh my God, I don't like when the drills are like this. I noticed it with, see how they're like, see how they're clumping? I don't like that. I don't know why it does that. Um, yeah, I don't know how long The Crown has been on or why it took me so long to start watching it. Um, but I started it yesterday and I'm three episodes. I know at least three episodes and I may have just started the fourth episode. Um, and it's, it's pretty good. I usually don't get into like um, British drama series because I'm gonna be honest I sometimes I just don't understand the jargon <laughs> and that really I know I have some what viewers that are from the UK and I'm talking about UK <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be a pun I was talking about my subscriber K <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I don't mean anything by it at all. Um, I just, I couldn't, I just can't, like, it's from like, oh my god, I'm getting, I'm digging myself into a hole, I feel like. Hear me out. Hear me out. So, I just, it's the, it's the British dramas, like, maybe I just don't understand some of the the words that they use or like maybe it's, there's just some words that they use in place of words that we use in the US and I just I'm like what what is that I don't know or maybe it's the time period um I'm not sure, but I am watching The Crown. I did not realize when I first started watching it that it was actually about um, Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I did not realize that. I just know that it was a popular Netflix series, and I was like, huh. Okay, I'll try it and I started it yesterday and I was like wow this is really good I actually like this um, some of the things I don't understand but I think that is just um, I think it's just because like it's royal um, what is the word I'm looking for? I think it's because it's, oh, I am sorry. I cannot think of the word or words possibly. <laughs> okay. I am sorry. I did not mean to like just throw you under the bus like that. And I did not mean it negatively at all. And I don't think that you would take it negatively. <laughs> I just thought it was funny and it wasn't supposed to be a pun or anything. <laughs> okay, these colors are so pretty together. They don't look it so much on camera, but they really are in person. 
um, yeah, I can't think of the word that I was thinking of, but anyways, um, have you seen The Crown on Netflix? And have you watched all of it? Are you caught up? Are, is it completely over? Like, are there more seasons? Are, are they, are they still doing it? Like, there's got to be an end now, right? Because... If it's about Queen Elizabeth, now she's passed away. I mean, not that it's going to be completely current because she had just passed away like a month ago. But um, I, just, I find it quite fascinating. I don't know anything about like anything royal anything about the royalty anything oops but and I don't know how like true or factual the show is um in comparison to like what is in reality with the royal family like I I I don't know. I mean, obviously this is like a um, like a series, a TV series, but it's based on the royal family. So I'm not sure, but it is entertaining and I was like, oh gosh, I can't, I can't stay up any longer to watch any more of it, um, but I can't wait to continue. <laughs> okay, so now that I have thoroughly embarrassed myself, <laughs> what is my next topic? Um... Well, I kind of talked about that I started this new canvas. So I know I really, really, really wanted to focus on working on my whips and not starting anything new this month, but I couldn't help it. As soon as I pulled this out to look at it, I was just like, I have to start this right now. I just, I was compelled to start it. <laughs> I need a do. And... I was right. Uh, something, something in me was just like, you need to do this right now. And look at me. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm on a roll with it. I have not worked on a canvas like this, doing this much progress in this amount of time. Um, in a while, so, and you'll see, I guess, but I just think this, this, um, canvas is beautiful, and it has a really good mixture of, like, obviously color blocking and confetti and I am doing the, um, if you notice, well, I always do like a strip, but I'm going around the frame and I'm going to go in a circle until I get to the center. I did that with one of my other diamond paintings and I really liked that. And I'm going to do that with this canvas because, um, it has on one end it has a lot of confetti and then on the other end it is a lot of color blocking and I know if I start on one end where it's a lot of confetti I'm going to get really tired of doing that <laughs> and then if I start on the other end where it's a lot of color blocking I'm going to get really tired of doing that so if I do it where I go around the edge of the canvas and like frame it and go around and around into a circle until I get then it's like a good mixture of doing all of it. 
um, and you don't get so tired out by doing one type the entire time. At least that's my theory on it. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. And I'm on the very top of the canvas. You can kind of tell because here's the Do What Makes You Sparkle from the Diamond Art Club. And here's the top of the lighthouse. And here is the image right here. Oops. Focus. Sort of focus. You can kind of see where I'm at. I'm like right here. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, um, The next thing, oh, those have lots of little holes in them. So the next thing I was going to talk about is um, desk setups. I am, I really like my desk setup. However, I am like bending over quite a bit and it's hurting my neck and I don't really appreciate that <laughs> and neither does my fibro here comes Littles don't be surprised if she starts crying Colors, a little check mark. Told you. Um, hi. Do you want to get scratched? Well, I only have two hands, so I can't sit here in diamond paint and scratch you. It makes me feel so sad. <laughs> She's not so little where she could just like hop in my lap either. <laughs> so I might have to take a uh, little break and do you know what oops shut the camera and I could right after I get done with these two little things because I can't just stop right here I mean I want to do those too but there are these colors um okay so what was I gonna say my desk set up so I am happy with my desk setup. I, I love the size of it and everything. And I think it's great. I can have everything that I want slash need on my desk. However, I'm bending over and my neck has been hurting so bad. And I just, it's hurting me. And so I've been looking for a drafting table possibly. I have a wooden easel that can sit on the desk. However, oh shoot, hated that still. However, the wooden easel takes up a lot of room and the canvas gets bent. Not that the canvas can't like unbend or whatever, but 
it props it up way too much and I feel like I'm too much at an angle even at the lowest like propped up I don't know I can try it again since I have it I just kind of feel like a drafting table might work a little bit better but that's kind of like an investment to make and I have this large desk like what do I do with my big desk now try to get rid of it sell it I guess I don't know so what do you all use? Do any of you have a drafting table slash desk? Um, do you love it? Do you find that it helps? Um, what kind do you have? Did you get it off Amazon? Did you get it at a store? Um, I don't know. I'm, I, uh, I need help. Help. <laughs> um, also, aesthetics matter to me as well because they just do. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of silly, but it does. It does matter somewhat to me. All right, I'm going to push this to the side. I just use my little straightener. Alright, I'm going to take a break really quick. I'm going to take Littles. I have to spell it O-U-T because they know the word otherwise. They don't know how to spell. And then I will be right back. It'll be a little while for me, but only a second for you. <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, I don't remember exactly where we were, and I didn't rewatch the video. I think I was talking about <clears throat> what desk setup everybody uses, or getting a, a drafting table, drafting desk. So that's my thoughts. I I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I would like to know what what do you all use? Um, if you use a drafting table, um, like if you went from something where you're diamond painting on a flat surface and you switch to a drafting table, do you regret it or do you wish you did it sooner or anything like that? I would like to know <laughs> before I make the purchase and the investment and switching everything up. <clears throat> um, and then I wanted to talk about, oh, did you all see, now I've only done, I've only done two Dreamer design canvases. Well, I've only completed one and the other one I did not complete because I just, I couldn't complete it. It was fraying and it was so sat like the canvas was so saturated. Even with my light pad, it was very difficult to see. So I never completed it and I actually gave it away and that person was just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> it was free. Um, but I did complete and I will say that the difference between um, the two that I had, the one that I did complete was a round diamond shape, and that one I had no problems with whatsoever, and I completed that one while I was on vacation in Mexico last year. It was the Sea Turtle by Sandra Trubin, and um, I enjoyed working on that one quite a bit. Um, 
And then the square one that I had, which they don't even have on their website anymore, it was like a Van Gogh style with the two cats. <clears throat> I That one is a square and the canvas was like fraying and um, it, the, the print on the canvas was so saturated. It was so dark and it was just, it was awful. It was not enjoyable to do. I ended up just giving it away to somebody that I work with. Um, she was like, I want to try to diamond paint. And I kind of felt bad giving it to her, but that's the one that she won. I was like, you can use this one. I'm, I don't recommend it, but she's like, I love it. <laughs> she wanted to do it and she did it, but she was like, yeah, I see why you didn't want to do it. <laughs> Um, but she didn't complain too much because, uh, it was free <laughs> and she didn't care about that. So she was like, whatever I made, I, she made it work. Um, so, um, I do want to try another dreamers, dreamer, is it dreamers designs or dreamer designs? I think it's dreamer designs. I'm going to try another one. I want to try one of their newer canvases. I just have not um, seen a canvas yet that I like really, really, really want to <clears throat> buy. I mean, I have seen one. Um, it's the Cool Cat. <laughs> and the only reason is because it's a cat and I feel like I just want to get all the cats. <laughs> Um, but other than that, I'm kind of just waiting for, I don't know, something. Um, but there are a couple of other canvases on their website that I want to do. But the reason why I'm bringing Dreamer Designs up is because they are doing, um, their Winter Sparkle along. It starts on... The 31st which is less than a week by the time you're watching this video it's in five days it starts in five days <clears throat> and I think it goes for one month I don't know for sure um, it's basically like an event but it's put on by them and there's like weekly giveaways and stuff and it sounds really fun so I thought about possibly joining, but I need a Dreamer Designs canvas and I just don't know what I want to do. And then also, um, I, if I buy one, it would have to be around because I am like terrified to do another one of their squares. <laughs> um... Especially, unless it's like one of their newer canvases. I'll take a chance on one of their newer canvases. Um, but if it's an older canvas, then I, it definitely needs to be a round because I won't buy a square. Um, you hear some banging around. The trash or recycling truck is outside, so I apologize. Um, and then I realized after I posted last week's whipping chat that um, I was talking about um, like not my unicorn painting but a painting that I have been looking for on the D-Stash site and somebody reached out to me and offered it to me and they offered it to me for like double what it's going for on the website um which is fine it's whatever it is worth to them like that is that's totally up to them I just I can't see um spending that much especially like it's for a gift and I just I don't want to spend that much um 
I know this is kind of repetitive, but I wanted to put in a photo of what the picture looks like. So here, <laughs> I'm going to try to insert the photo here. Um, hopefully I remember this time. <laughs> um, it's called Christmas Home and it's by Abraham Hunter. Um, I really want to get it to give, gift it as a gift, <laughs> of course. Um, and I just don't know if Diamond Art Club is going to be restocking it. They say they will, and I feel like it's been months and months, and I just don't know, like, I don't know. When will it be restocked? And you can email Diamond Art Club and ask them, and they're just like, oh, check back in a couple of weeks. Like, that is... That is the exact message you will get. Check back in a couple of weeks. I guarantee you that is the message you will get if you email them. Because um, I emailed them asking and then I saw on the VIP group, um, somebody asked about something completely different about an out of stock and they posted their email response and it said the exact word for word thing that my email said and I was like cool so they just have a canned response <laughs> they, <clears throat> nothing against them I'm sure they get tons of emails about the same thing so why wouldn't they have a canned response but I don't know so I know you see a lot of gaps in between all these and stuff, but once you turn the light pad on, you don't see those gaps. <laughs> it bothers me. It really does. But I, I have checked and like once you turn the light off, you can't see them. All right. Done with this color, I think. I always try to do a double check because once I start putting another color, I'm like, dang it. There's one more of that color. Does that happen to you? It's got to. It's got to happen to all of us. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this. And yes, the the canvas is upside down. Let's see. <laughs> um <clears throat> Oh, there's another song on that Taylor Swift album. And I think it's called Karma. I think. It's also very catchy. <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen to it. <laughs> okay. So, um, what else? forgot what I was just talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you want to be the next recipient of Happy Mail, um, make sure you comment on this video. It can be about anything. I um, ask a question for my vet question video. What's your desk set up like? Have you watched The Crown? Are you watching The Crown? Have you finished it? Um, if you've watched it, please no spoilers. I'm only on the first season and on episode three, so I am like super like new, <laughs> just starting it. And, um, but I do wanna know is it still going like is like am I going to be watching this for a while please say yes please tell me yes <laughs> please tell me I'm not going to be done with this in just a few short days that this is something that I'm going to I'm going to be looking forward to watching like for a while um 
and <clears throat> if you know about the crown and you know about the royal family like how real is this like is this is this like almost factual stuff or like I don't know is this done with this color I think so okay um and then dreamer designs winter sparkle along are you going to participate in it it starts in five days <laughs> um if i'm going to participate in it i need to order a canvas like today or yesterday if you're watching this video did i order a canvas we'll see I guess I need to order I've been on their website like multiple times for the past few days so I just need to pull the trigger I guess and order a canvas because I, I want to participate I do I just need to find a I need to find a canvas to to uh, participate I don't want it to be really big because if it's only a month-long event then it needs to be something that I can comp complete within you know, I only have, because when I work my five days in a row, I don't usually diamond paint those days, um, because I'm just, I'm too tired, I'm sore, and I don't get to diamond paint during those days, so we have to account for at least, at least eight to ten days out of the month where I'm not diamond painting at all. <clears throat> so... It's got to be a somewhat small canvas and it has to be a round because I can do rounds a lot faster than squares. Okay, and then also, um, are you a Taylor Swift fan? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you haven't already, please click on the like button it helps my videos get out to the youtube world and um help people discover my channel um i'd really appreciate it that would mean so much to me it's the best way to help my channel grow um and if you haven't already please consider subscribing i would love to have you be part of my community and also um, please do comment down below. I love, love, love chatting with you all in the comments. Um, I do reply to every comment. Um, it might not be right away. It might be within a day or two, but I do reply to everybody's comment. I like, I, I like, and I do, <laughs> what am I trying to say? I look forward to, um, those comments and getting to know you and I really feel like I have gotten to know some of you um, like Kay that lives in the UK I have gotten to know you through the comments and you are so sweet um, thank you so much for your support here is a heart for you from the United States all the way across the pond and, you know, Jennifer and Kat and um, Sophie, who is also a new, newer YouTube um, content creator, all of you. Um, and if I didn't name you specifically, I, it's nothing, I, I, it's not anything against you or anything. Like I, um, I'm trying to pull up names like off the top of my head, I just remember, like, you know, if you comment, I remember, and some people just comment every single video, and I appreciate it so much. I do comment back, um, you know, oh, Jess, Jess comments all the time. Um, some people don't have, like, um, like, their name as their as their YouTube. So, um, Phoebe is another one. They're coming to me. I just can't think of everybody all at once. Um, 
But yes, I do appreciate all the comments. I love reading your comments and I reply to all of your comments. So please continue commenting. And um, yeah, pretty soon I will um, expand the Happy Mail um, recipients to um, more than just one. But for right now, it's just one. But pretty soon it will be more than one at a time. And I look forward to being able to provide that to you all. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. And um, I look forward to chatting with you. All right, everyone. I will talk with you later. Bye-bye.